Well, after her first adventure became a New York Times bestseller, it's no surprise that Misty the Cloud is back. Meteorologist Dylan Dreyer, who is well known from the Today Show, manages to do it all and look effortless while doing so. Not only does Dylan work every day on the popular NBC morning show, she's a dedicated mom to three sons, Calvin, Oliver, and Russell. When she married her husband Brian in 2012, they formerly lived in a smaller 750 square foot New York City apartment. But considering it only had one bedroom, there wasn't nearly enough room for their growing family. After selling this place, Dylan moved into a larger apartment in Manhattan that features multiple bedrooms, a spacious kitchen, and an open concept layout. These days, her two eldest sons sleep in a stylish bunk bed while her youngest, Rusty, has a crib in the corner of the room. While life in the Big Apple with three kids running around can be hectic for Dylan, the TV star wouldn't change a thing. When Dylan Dreyer of the Today Show started her family with her husband Brian, she knew that while she remained in New York City, she would definitely need more space for children. That's why the now mom of three moved into a larger space in the city back around 2015. While the apartment looks slightly modest, let's not forget that it's Manhattan. Before this, the couple's space was even more quaint, spending only 750 square feet with one bedroom. These days, Dylan occupies what's reportedly a three bedroom residence with multiple bathrooms, or at the very least, more than one, as well as an open layout and roomy living areas. While the home isn't massive by any means, the open concept floor plan is key to making the place feel bigger than it is. While Dylan's abode was close to perfect when they moved in, the couple did need to adjust along with their growing family. At the time, Dylan was pregnant with their second son, Oliver, and in late 2019, they decided to renovate their third bedroom on the premises so their eldest son could have his own big boy space. Dylan even shared the process of converting the spare room into his dream area on social media. Family affair getting Calvin's big boy bedroom ready. It was a fun weekend being covered in paint and ordering takeout. And that's what she captioned an Instagram post at the time. Shortly after, Dylan shared the before and after results of her son's room transformation and also confirmed there was no more guest room at their place. Considering the couple welcomed a third son in September 2021, it was a good thing they moved to a larger home. It seems another layout change came at that time as well. In early 2022, she shared the bedroom her three sons were sharing, which looked spacious, as the two eldest sons were set up in a bunk bed with safety bars, while their youngest, who's still a baby, Russell, had a crib set up in the corner near a window. My guess is that she took a bigger bedroom in the apartment and put all three of them in there. And despite those who might think Dylan's New York City crib is too small for a big family, she would not change it for the world. She said to viewers after leaving Weekend today, these boys are my whole life and Brian and I, we love being a team on weekends and spending as much time as we can with them and having as much fun as we can. That's really all I'm going to be doing, sitting at home and just loving up on those three. From glimpses that we've seen on Instagram, Dylan's home has cozy and fun design accents like fur area rugs. The living room has a neutral color palette with plenty of space for the kids to play and elsewhere, there's a plush blue sectional sofa. Other features in the living areas include a large TV, comfy white couches, and more gorgeous decor. This common area also leads into the classy kitchen, which features a marble island, stools, and white cabinets. There are also top of the line stainless steel appliances, giving the space a contemporary feel. Here, Dylan also loves cooking meals with her son Calvin's help. Just around the corner, you'll see that the apartment also boasts a dining area that made the most of the space with a stylish dining table and benches for seating. Aside from the wall-mounted TV in the main living room, Dylan's shelving unit and cabinets offer a lot of space to decorate with family photos and other touches to personalize the space. Despite being in the spotlight, Dylan is also relatable to others and doesn't share only the highlights online. Recently, social media users noticed that, shockingly enough, the mom of three's kitchen counter was actually messy. Well, that's just life, and some fans said that seeing this on Dylan's feed made them feel normal. We could see her son Calvin trying to make his own sandwich in the photo, while in another photo posted previously, Dylan's messy dining room table was also spotted on Instagram, sharing the realness actually 
actually seems to receive a positive result, and I think we can all understand why. Before we end this look at Dylan Dreyer's homes, let's look at the smaller place that she and her family upgraded from. She was selling this place in 2015, but despite the unit's petite size at 750 square feet, it was pretty stunning. Located on the Upper West Side of New York City, this was in the Broadway Quarter. As part of a 58 unit co-op spread over three different brownstone buildings. The weather reporter moved in here with her nightly news cameraman husband Brian back in 2012 after they wed. And despite the fact that they needed more space, Dylan really loved this apartment while living here. She said about the home while offering a tour to the Today Show that, I love that the kitchen is open to the rest of the living space. She had purchased the place for $580,000 and was asking $800,000. $62,000 for it when it hit the market. The apartment's a fairly standard one bedroom, one bathroom space with a kitchen that's open to the living and dining area. One noticeable feature that adds a nice touch throughout is certainly all of the exposed brick. Dylan's former unit had details such as high ceilings, the exposed brick, as well as moldings and hardwood floors. The living and dining room is one open space with enough room to hold both a small table and couch. There's recessed lighting throughout as well as a stunning custom light fixture. Dylan had said that she loved the open kitchen at this place because I love to cook and this way I don't feel like I'm removed from everything else going on while I'm in the kitchen. That is something I can definitely agree with. The kitchen the kitchen itself had been upgraded with custom cabinets, built-in stainless steel appliances, and a lot of counter space. There were even snack bar style seats to easily enjoy a casual meal. Master bedroom is located on the opposite side of the kitchen, and here there's more exposed brick and some windows for natural lights. Right outside the bedroom, you would find the singular bathroom, as well as a nice big closet space. Overall, it was a lovely one bedroom in a nice central location of the Upper West Side. However, it didn't have the space for Dylan Dreyer and her large family. After looking at Dylan's Manhattan properties, that is gonna wrap up this house tour. But before we go, answer this question for me. Would you be able to do big city living with a family of five in a busy apartment? Let me know your answer to that in the comments below and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and if you'd like to check out another tour before you go, then stay tuned for this look into the homes of CNN's Don Lemon. Bye. CNN News host Don Lemon may be from Louisiana, but these days he shares a stunning retreat in the Hamptons with his fiancé and partner Tim Malone. A few years ago, he selected a white neoclassical clapboard mini mansion in the area of Saj Harbor to settle down in, and soon after moving in, carried out a renovation on the home so it would suit his tastes, before finding his 2,750 square foot dream property and calling it home. Don previously lived in a spacious condo located in uptown New York City. He sold this place in 2021 for $1.5 million with the help of his fiancée, Tim, who was one of the realtors as well. On choosing his current home, Don claims that the area, in fact, chose him. He said, I think Saj Harbor chose me. When I saw it, I knew I wanted to live there. It was like I was always supposed to be there. And the rest was history. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. In 2020, Don Lemon sold his former condo in the New York City neighborhood of Harlem for $1.525 million, which made him a profit of about 37 k when compared to the price he purchased it for in 2013. The condo was originally placed on the market a year prior with an ask of $1.75 million, but it took a bit of time to sell. However, Don had already moved into his home in the Hamptons area of Sag Harbor, which he bought back in 2016. For Lemon, condo Douglas Elements Steve Cohen and Tim Malone who's Don's fiance held the listing. Don and Tim got engaged in 2019 and the journalist shared how it all went down in a sweet Instagram post. The caption of Don's post read, he gave me a present on his birthday. How could I say no? This was accompanied by two photos of dog collars on their pets Boomer and Barkley that read, Daddy, will you marry Papa? I can't think of a better way to propose. Anyways, the couple had been dating since 2016 and memorably rang in the 2018 New Year with an honor kiss on CNN. While Don's former condo was set up as a two bedroom at the time of sale, the 1,400 square 
square foot abode was listed as a three bedroom home along with 2.5 bathrooms. So one has the option to reconfigure the layout if wanted. The condo featured an open and spacious floor plan with plenty of clean white walls, light hardwood flooring, as well as floor to ceiling windows in the main living room with views of the Manhattan skyline. An entry foyer in Don's former home leads to the living areas, which aside from the windowed main living room, which boasts built-ins, there's also the attached kitchen with a built-in casual dining area. The galley style kitchen also features stone countertops and stainless steel appliances. So while it's a petite space, it packs in top-notch upgrades. On the other side of the condo sits a large corner master bedroom, which has a wall of spacious closets and an ensuite bath with both a stall shower and soaking tub. A second bedroom and full bath are also located nearby, as well as the separate office, which could be used as a third bedroom. Elsewhere is an additional half bath and laundry area with washer and dryer. In addition to the condo's own private balcony, the building building offers an outdoor recreation space as well as its own stylish rooftop deck. In 2016, Don Lemon purchased his beautiful retreat in Sag Harbor for $3.1 million. He and his partner Tim were outgrowing the former condo and desired to move into a larger space, which is when they came across their current charming abode which the couple shares with their adorable dogs. Sag Harbor is located in New York, more specifically it's in the towns of Southampton and East Hampton on Easter Long Island. The area has been described as a slice of Americana on the bay and it's an old whaling port that spans only 2.3 square miles. However, it's full of history, boasting landmarks, historic homes much like Don's, museums and shops and restaurants on the main street. It's a lovely walking village and a tourist destination. It shouldn't be surprising then that Don considers his Sag Harbor home his sanctuary and loves simply decompressing here. When asked why he chose Sag Harbor, he explained the story. I think Sag Harbor chose me. When I saw it, I knew I wanted to live there. It was like I was always supposed to be there. After the couple searched for a while to no avail, they retreated back to the city. But along the way, however, Don spotted a white neoclassical clapboard house and asked about it. Luckily enough, the realtor knew about the property, looked into it, and got Don access to look at it right on the the spot and the rest was simply history. Don closed on the home the following spring and lived there for a while before he and his partner started on the renovations. His stunning home is picturesque with a white picket fence as well as 3,500 square feet of space in total with four beds and five baths. The decor that Don and Tim eventually opted for doesn't focus on any one style, but the atmosphere feels livable and relaxing yet modern. Don's home is situated on one of Sag Harbor's most desirable streets two blocks from Maine and one block to the bay. The federal style abode also has an additional pool house with its own bathroom, cable TV, and more. So that's where that extra square footage comes from. Past the rolling green front lawn and walking into the stately crib inside, you'll find nautical details in blues, whites, and reds. At least that was prior to Don decorating the interiors to suit his own taste. Aside from the handful of beds and baths, there's also a basement level which functions as a recreation area with built-in mahogany bar and even the option to be transformed into a guest or in-law suite. The upper level of Don's home offers three bedrooms, a living room, and a mezzanine floor above which is suitable to be a complete home office. Then on the main floor, you'll find a sitting room with a gas fireplace, a library, a guest or family bedroom, and the kitchen. The kitchen here boasts Carrara marble countertops top-notch stainless steel appliances, including Viking and Sub-Zero brand, and right beside the kitchen, you'll find the dining room that has space to seat 12 people. The kitchen and dining room overlook the back patio and pool through two sets of French doors, creating a stunning and relaxing setting. Once Don and Tim moved in though, they started with the renovations shortly after and made some changes to these spaces in the home. The designers would start from scratch to reconfigure the interiors to suit the couple's lifestyle as well as their two pups, Boomer and Barkley. For instance, they first knocked out part of the wall 
separating the dining area from the kitchen to open it to view through a paned window wall, and then they redid the kitchen completely. They also took some space from the bonus bedroom on the main floor to convert into a mudroom and turn the basement into a cozy man cave, further sprinkling three new fireplaces throughout the home to keep the winters warm. Dawn explained this, people think I'm nuts, but I love coming here in winter and hunkering down. And he enjoys baking, especially around Christmas when his mother and sister come to visit. Elsewhere in the home, Don and Tim's master suite boasts views to the boats in the harbor, and there are more amenities to come outside. In the backyard, aside from the guest cabin, you'll find an outdoor shower, saltwater pool, alfresco dining area, and a stunning back porch. Working on the interior design of the home for Don, the designers claimed that they didn't focus on any one particular style or point of view. Rather, they crafted a mix of antiques, mid-century furnishings, and modern pieces with a black and white color scheme that helps add a livable and relaxing vibe. They also added plenty of Don's personality into the interiors, with his own collection of objects and arts. Don explained this too, adding, I'm not above collecting street art and a lot of the African American paintings in my home come from street artists in New Orleans. Since moving into their Hamptons abode, Don and Tim cherish every moment that they spend there. They love the freedom that they have since choosing to share their lives in this community and Don believes that buying their Saj Harbor home was one of the best choices he's made. Aside from choosing Tim as his soulmate, that is. Don also says, that house in Saj Harbor changed my life. The people I've met, the experiences I've had, the zen that it brings me, and the joy. I can't even put a price on it. The pair has also met a handful of inspiring people while living here and made plenty of friends along the way. Not to mention the couple likes to host parties and barbecues for their friends at their Saj Harbor home, such as this event that they invited loved ones over for Pride Weekend a couple of years back. Their home isn't a prime location though, only a block away from Marine Park where they can view weekly summer concerts as well as front row seating for the 4th of July fireworks too. Well now that we've looked at Don Lemon's Sag Harbor home and his former condo in New York City, that will conclude this house tour. But before you head out, consider answering the following question for me. Which holiday or event would you most like to host a themed party for at your home and why? Do you have a specific holiday or event that you most like to decorate and host for? Let me know in the comments down below. I love Christmas and Halloween. I wouldn't be able to choose, but definitely let me know. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and turn on those notifications to make sure you never miss a new drop. My name's Kara the Vampire Slayer. Follow me on Instagram to chat more, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!